Hey everyone, today we're going to build a React application using Material UI components. But first of all, what is React and what is Material UI? React is a super popular front end JavaScript framework that you can use to build the front end of your application. It's one of the most popular front end frameworks that's used right now. Material UI is a massive library of components that you can use inside your React application and it follows Google's material UI style. So this site itself is actually built using material UI, or so it looks anyway. So you can build really professional looking websites using material UI without much style knowledge yourself. So with all that, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by creating a React application. I'm just gonna use create React app and I'm gonna call it my app. So you can start off your React application whatever way you like, but I just use Create React App. I think it's an easy way to get started. So now that our React App has been created, we're gonna move into that directory. And we're gonna start a React application using npm start. And because Create React App has hot reloading enabled, I won't need to stop and start my application at all. All my changes are gonna be reloaded live. So I'm gonna hit npm start. And now we can see our application is up and running and we can see it here in the browser at localhost 3000. So we're just going to enter the code here and open the app.js file because this is where we're going to be working. So now let's go over the material UI docs and see how we can get started. So on their homepage, they give this example of a button and how to use that. Um, but before we can use that, we need to install the material UI package. So we're going to copy this command and we're going to open a terminal in VS Code. You can do this in the terminal if you prefer, but I'm going to do everything inside here. So now the material UI library has been installed. We're going to go back to the docs and copy this. And we're going to replace this file with that. And we're going to leave the export at the bottom, even though they didn't include that here. I'm going to save that file. And now in the right hand side, we can see that our new app has been loaded and we have this button. And for now, this button doesn't look very interesting, but we're going to fix that. So let's go over to the material UI docs and I'm going to sh show you how I use this. So we're going to click explore the docs and here uh, we're going to go into components and because we were using a button we're going to head over to button and this is I think one of the best things about material UI is their documentation and how easy it is to understand and make something that looks quite beautiful very easily so once you're looking at their docs um, inside components you can see we can look at the full source code here and we can see their example and what the source code is like. So if we want our button to become contained, which we do, we're just going to copy this variant equals contained and we're going to add that to our element. Now we can see that our button has changed style, it's now contained. So to get a bit more information about this, uh, I usually go over to the API documentation for each element. So for the button documentation, we can see here what props we can pass in. So as you can see there, we used variant contained. We can also see the other options for variant. So we'll try outlined and see what that looks like. So we can see that that changed the button from the contained one to the outlined one. And something else that's interesting is color. So we can set the color to secondary and see what that looks like. And we can see this change the color. And these colors that we're given here are coming from something called Material UI theme. Um, so Material UI has its own theme and you can actually override the theme elements 
and that is all contained um, in their documentation as well so you can create your own theme we're not going to cover that in this tutorial because it's a bit more advanced but just to let you know that you can override these different colors so right now this secondary color is a kind of a red color but you can create your own theme to change what the secondary color is so now this button is up in the top left corner and in your application um, this doesn't look very good so how can we change this well maybe we're going to put a heading above the button and in material ui we want to look for something called typography so if in the search box here we hit typography we're going to go to the typography component and we can see here in this great example we have all of these different headings and again underneath we can see the different components to use for that so for now we're going to use a h3 heading this one and this is going to give us something that looks like this so that looks like a good size so we want to put this typography here above the button but because this is react this isn't going to like us returning two components so we need to wrap these components in some sort of a container you could just use a div to wrap them but material ui gives us something called a container which also adds some margin either side so we're going to use this and we're going to copy this container and we're going to bring it in here and then we're going to put our two typography and button elements inside the container we're going to make this a bit bigger so you can see and we need to remove that and we also need to import the container and typography elements here And we're going to wrap all of this in round brackets so everything is going to be returned if i hit save now this should refresh and now we can see we have something that looks a little bit better so now we have this bit of margin because of the container we have this typography and we have this button so let's change this heading just to say my app because that's what our app's called and let's put a table underneath here because our app might need to show some information so back to the documentation we're going to look for table and we have this table component and this table looks pretty good so we're going to use this simple table and as you can see this is going to be a pretty big uh, component so we might not want to put this inside our main app component we might need to create a new component to put this inside so let's do that let's create a new file and let's call it table.jsx to create a new react component and to make things really simple for getting started we're going to copy this whole example that they had for this table and we're going to bring it in and we're going to hit save so if we've saved that we now have this table component and we're going to import that in our app so we're going to say import table from and it's in the same path so we're just going to say table so now we have access to use this table component inside our app component so underneath the button we're just going to use table and hit save again and now you can see this table is created for us so that's that's pretty cool um, we can see that this doesn't look great because the, there's no space between the bottom of the button and the table so we're going to try to fix that now so if we head back over to the material ui documentation we can look for something called box and this box is like a wrapper component for that we can put around other components so we're just going to grab this example 
and we're going to put it above table and then put table inside and we want to remove this prop component equals span and leave the m equals one for now and we're also going to import box for material ui so we can use it here if i clean that up and hit save we can see that now we're getting a bit of margin but we might want a bit more margin than that at the top so we'll change this from a one to a three and whoa we can see that we're getting the margin at the top that we want but we're also getting this unwanted margin on the left so we can change this from m to mt equals three and this looks now like exactly what we want so we have the button and some margin and then the table we didn't really look too much at the api documentation for the table so let's have a look at that now so we're going to go back to the table component and we're going to head over to the api so we can see that we have this padding that we can change so and the size so let's take a look at the size so this table looks a bit too big for us um we just want a small table here uh, there's a lot of unnecessary padding and space there we don't want so let's change the size from medium to small so we're going to go back into our table component and table is now going to take size equals small if we hit save on that we can see now that our table is a, a nicer size for us it's small there's less unused space and now our application is starting to look really good so if this was a real world example we would probably be getting all of this information from an api somewhere we wouldn't just be hard coding it in the front end unless your information is very static that you want to show and doesn't change that much then you might hard code it in the front end but that's all i wanted to show you today i just wanted to create a quick react application that uses material ui components and walk you through how i use the material ui documentation to build an application thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.